Hello pumpkins, welcome back to my channel. It's Gothic Vegan 05 here, back for another video. If you are new here, then I'm so happy to meet you. And if you are a returning subscriber, hello, welcome back, and thank you so much for coming back. If I've uploaded this on the correct day, it should be the 1st of January 2021 today. Um, let's hope we all had a great new year, and here is to a brand new year. Let's hope it's better than last year. Tra la 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 la. No. I filmed this before New Year's Day, so I'm still drinking at the minute, um, but that will stop. Um, I am going to be doing a 2021 goals video. If anyone is interested in seeing that, that should be coming on Tuesday. But today I am doing a what I got for Christmas 2020 video. Now, just as a disclaimer, I am not doing this to brag or boast. I just love watching these kind of videos of what people got for Christmas. Um, it always gives me ideas of what to get people or what to ask for myself for my birthday, which is coming up. I am the big 4-0 on February the 2nd. Um, and I think we're going to be in lockdown. So I won't be able to celebrate properly, but so what? I'm getting older now, so it doesn't really matter. Although I did want a karaoke party. So I'm a bit gutted about that, but never mind. Um, so yes, this video is a what I got for Christmas and please just remember I'm not bragging, I'm not boasting. Um, I'm from a working class family. Um, I am not boasting at all. I'm just so grateful for everything that I have that I want to share with you guys and hopefully give you some ideas maybe for your birthday coming up. So without further ado, let's take a sip of this. <sighs> And let's get on. First up, I'm going to go through everything that Paul got me. And um, let's go with, oopsie. Let's go with, so I'm using this at the moment. This is what you're kind of standing on. But Paul got me a new ring light. Um, this is absolutely huge. It's a 13-inch LED tripod. Social media ring light. Um, it's so much bigger than my one. Um, the ring light's bigger the tripod is bigger you were up here earlier and i had to pull you down to my level so <laughs> yeah that is the first thing that i got from paul which i'm really happy about because my um, tripod broke um one of the um, screws came out of it and then it, it just it was wobbling all over the place all the time um so i am really 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 happy with this and I do know where that is from because I saw that myself. That was in B&M and that was £19.99. I actually think that's quite a good price for that. Uh, the next thing I got from Paul were these vegan bath bombs. And these are so pretty. They're essential oil bath bombs. And these are just the prettiest. Look at them. They're so cute. Like they're little... Like these ones are like little cupcakes so sweet and then you've got like ooh, they smell delicious and that one looks like that look ooh, they smell delicious let me say might as well show you them all now 26 this one is rose i think it's got some rose petals on but yeah that is those and i think this is from a company called I don't know. T T R to win to win. T T R W I N. Don't know. <laughs> but they are very, very pretty. I like them a lot. And these are no paraben. Vegan, cruelty free. And uh, also okay, so there's rose, lemon, lavender, and ocean. Very, very nice. I really like those a lot. And then I also got this from the little boo bean. <laughs> um, now there are gins that I can have that are vegan. Um, I do need to check if this beet beef beet eater. Ironically, this is beef eater gin, which is my favourite gin, and well used to be. Um, and this is the blood orange, but I wanted it for this glass. <laughs> so I have this for a gin glass because I just think it's so cute. Um, we went to, um, when we went to get this, well, I told Paul I wanted this ages and ages ago. And we actually bought my sister one of these for Christmas. And um, there was only one left. And I was like, oh, no, I really wanted one of those. And there's only one left. So we did give it to my sister. And then Paul told me he bought this like weeks ago. So I'm really, really happy with that. Next, um, Paul got me this from the sanctuary, which I think the packaging itself is beautiful because it looks like a book. 
it's so sweet and this is the beauty sleep journal and this is by sanctuary spa and you open this up if i can and then inside here is a little face mask which is like a purple silk satin i want to say um this is all vegan and cruelty free because i did ask for this um so i did double check that it was vegan and there is a de-stress warming body balm on there which i've got in there and then a sleep mist for your pillow because i am having trouble sleeping i don't know i think i'm suffering with insomnia at the moment i'm not getting hardly any sleep at all i can't get no sleep <laughs> Um, and then Beauty Sleep Recovery Mask. So that comes in there, but I, just, I love the packaging. It kind of, I know it's not, but it kind of reminds me of like the Hocus Pocus book, even though it's not, but that's what I'm going to tell myself it is. So there is that, which I absolutely love. And then I got, now, did anyone else know Charlotte Tilbury did a vegan range? I did. <laughs> I looked it up. Um, I did put a few things on my wish list um, and there are a few products that charlotte tilbury do makeup wise that is suitable for vegans and is cruelty free now i have used um uh, the charlotte tilbury makeup today um and i got the uh, beauty light wand which is an easy highlighter and the highlighter is absolutely stunning i love the highlighter um the liquid magic away liquid concealer um i think I picked the wrong shade because this is quite pale and um, so I did mix it with my um, elf concealer um, but I do think it's that it is really glowy makeup I love it but it's this concealer isn't as great as I thought because I read the reviews and I obviously see other youtubers using this and I just don't know if I got the wrong color but that's the only thing that I'm kind of not disappointed with but I just thought it was going to be better um, but this beauty wand is amazing liquid concealer and then the lipstick that i've got on is the matte revolution in the shade lost cherry her packaging is just stunning and this is the lipstick i love it i absolutely love this color lipstick i love red lipstick i thought i'd wear a red lip as i was doing the christmas video and i have tried to do like a red eyeshadow look I have been watching tutorials um, with Bailey Serian um, um, for makeup ideas um, and um, I don't think I've mastered this one but I'm getting there, I'm getting there um, and I'll just show you what the packaging on these look like. So this is the beauty wand, it's so stunning the packaging, it's absolutely stunning and you just pull this off and then you squeeze that not going to do it now but you turn it there and squeeze it and then put your highlighter on and like dab it so that is the highlighter it's very luxurious but i've always wanted to own charlotte tilbury makeup because everyone raves about it and um so i was so happy when i researched it and found out that she did do some vegan ranges and then this just look at the shine that comes off of that it's so beautiful and then this is the concealer and then you turn this so you can see how much you've got left in here. God, I did use quite a bit. That's probably why I used too much. Um, so yeah, that is the concealer. I'm very, very happy with that. But as I say, concealer wasn't what I expected. I thought it was going to be a little bit better, but maybe it's because I put too much on. Maybe. Next is kind of my main present from Paul. And I'm very, very shocked. I didn't ask for this. I never thought I would own one. But he got me an iPad Pro. Um, I think it's the second rev res revolution is iPad Pro 11. Um, it's not in here because obviously I've been using it. And my phone, I've got the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And I, I don't know why, I just seem to keep running out of blimmin' um, storage all the time. So I deleted everything off my phone and I put Netflix on there. I've put like Song Pop 2, like the game that I like to play and like, all my shopping stuff on there. So my phone is just like my phone now. And then my iPod is for like my shopping and 
you know, Netflix. I was up till like half past three this morning watching the sequel on Netflix. And it's so nice to have, I thought my phone was massive. Then when I've been holding that for the past two days, I've pick up my phone and I'm like oh this is tiny <laughs> but yeah so I've got one of those which I'm so happy about and then I can edit my videos and stuff on here now so excuse me those bubbles are getting to me pardon me I always burp joy my videos I'm so sorry but yeah so I got that which I'm so so happy for um, and then <laughs> I did ask for this present because I want to start doing a lot more like fresh cooking, baking. So this is a food processor, which I'm so happy about. I'm really, really happy I own one of these. Don't know where it's going to go because I've got a smoothie maker, a blender, a chopper. Go to the jar bar. Why do I always do that? For God's sake. Um, and a, um, what's the... Um, the things that make fizzy drinks soda stream we've got our kitchen is tiny 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 kitchen i don't know where this is gonna go i'm gonna have to get rid of some mugs and then use a like cupboard as a like um like these this kind of product drawer whatever it's bloody called um but yeah i have a food process now which i'm so blinky happy about i'm getting old <laughs> also got a juicer which my brother bought me last year which i am still using um but yeah what, what is that kitchen equipment if you will um so yes i got that um from paul and then he also got me this yummy blackberry gin can't go wrong with some gin and sorry it's all falling down here and then boo got me some little gins <laughs> Paul got me this print that I've wanted for ages. <laughs> it's so cute. Little pumpkin going out for a wander. <laughs> so that's going to go up on my wall somewhere. I know. Excuse me. I know I said I wasn't going to get any more prints, but I already have two prints by this artist, which is Von Vamp. Um, and I think his name's Matt, uh, but I already have two prints of him. I have the Home Sweet Home and the Ghost Walking His Dog. So I'm going to move them into like a three, like above a shelf. And then I've got room for a couple more prints because I did get another print for Christmas. Um, but yeah, isn't he cute? Love me. <laughs> that is that. And then I also got this from paul which is a um like lava beads like from the from a volcano um and some clear quartz with a little crescent moon on which i absolutely love so yeah i really really love that bracelet and then lastly from paul i got this beauty with a conscience bamboo makeup remover and care kit eco warrior uk and this is biodegradable recyclable reusable plastic free and hypoallergenic and then in here we have all these goodies so we have a little bamboo comb which i think is cute and i'm going to use that to run um like hair masks through my hair when before i put them up in my little shower cap like an old lady so i'm going to use that for that um, and then i have some makeup remover wipes which feel so soft and these are eco warrior uk so that's all they say on there but yeah they are makeup removers then i think this is a toothbrush i think Yep, like a little bamboo toothbrush, which is really cool. Then we have a, uh, this so you put this around your hair to when you're taking your makeup off. Put that on there. And then there is, oops, then there is some bamboo cotton buds, which you don't need. I think I'll show you these because they are pretty cool. So obviously they're on a piece of bamboo instead of plastic. They're so cute. <laughs> one can clean one's ears conscience free um and then there's two bigger <laughs> two bigger pads there and i think this is like a little wash bag to um to wash all your all your pads in and then that must be like when you're going away for the weekend you can put all your bits and pieces in there so yeah i'm really really happy with all of that moving on for presents from my like immediate family so my mum 
got me a bottle of my favourite wine, my Yellowtail wine, which is 100% vegan friendly. And so it's my favourite wine. And this beautiful eucalyptus frosted plant, which I think is just so pretty and sparkly and lovely. Um, so yeah, I got that from my mum. Oh, hello. And then, uh, oh, and my mum also got me some little uh, warm apple and cinnamon and frosted vanilla Yankee candles. And then from my brother Dean, I finally own the Mrs. Hinch This Is Me book, which I'm so, so happy about. And my brother also got me some, whoops, Yankee candles and this cute little winterberry candle um, that's in this, oh, it just smells beautiful. But it's in this little star tin, which I thought was so cute. I'm really, really excited to read this. I've got quite a few books this year and I am a bit of a bookworm, so I'm really, really happy about getting so many books. You'll see the books that I've got and I love them. brother Stephen, I got my favourite bottle of Prosecco, uh, which I absolutely love. And then I've got this skull necklace. Oh, oh. Oh, I didn't realise it was necklace, bracelet and earrings. Oh, how cool. Um, See, so yeah, i got this skull necklace with the matching earrings and a bracelet, which I did not know was in there. <laughs> so, yeah, I got that little set, which is cool. And then I got the Greatest Secret book, which I wanted. Oh, I'm so sorry, those bubbles are really making me burp. And I feel a bit out of breath where I feel like I'm going to try and rush the video because I don't want you to be bored. But yeah, I've got that to book as well, which I'm so thankful for. I'm really going to get into my manifestation this year, um, next year. Um, well, we are in this year now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do some meditation. Anyway, I won't spoil it because you're going to obviously want to see my 2021 goals. Really thankful to my brother Steve for that. And then now moving on to what I got for my sister Karen. Now, this is absolutely stunning. And because I got so many books for Christmas look at this bookmark how absolutely beautiful is that there's this silver feather with a butterfly which is my favorite bug i don't want to call it a bug but it is and then this beautiful little glitter ball it's got a little daisy in it oh that is just so stunning i've never seen anything like that until I opened another present, which I'll show you later. But I got two very similar presents, but they're not the same. But look how beautiful that is. I love it. And I did get a lot of books for Christmas. And I like to have a bookmark for each book, if you know what I mean. Because I, I kind of flip between books. I know that sounds a bit stupid, but I do. Um, and then also from Karen, I got these beautiful bath bombs. Pampering and relaxing. Bath makes skin soft and refreshed and smooth they're so cute they've got these little birds on it actually looks like a bird's nest they're so cute and the smell coming off them is bloody delicious it's lavender chamomile rose and forget-me-nots oh my god what is that one you smell incredible enjoy the gifts from flowers they are absolutely beautiful and they smell stunning I'm really looking forward to using those. But that's really cool design with the little egg basket. It's really, really sweet. And then also I got this from Karen, which I love. Crazy vegan lady tote bag. <laughs> love this. Absolutely love this. Little carrots on there. Love hearts. I really like that. So I'm going to start using that um, as of Tuesday when I go back to work. And then this. I love this. Anyone who knows me knows I'm obsessed with foxes. I love foxes. If I could adopt them all, I would. And I got this beautiful scarf. Look how beautiful that is. I love it so much. <laughs> I love it. It's one of my favourite presents. I love it. I love, love, love it. And then I was not expecting this, and I've never seen anything like this before. So this is the enamel flower teacup. And you get this cute. Now I do love me a unique spoon. <laughs> There's this gorgeous spoon, which I think is stunning. And then look 
at this. And it's got butterflies on. It is so beautiful. It even comes with like this little doily thing to stand it on. How cute. You even get a bloody thing to clean it with. It's so cute. The detail and it's absolutely beautiful. It's almost like I don't want to use it because it's too beautiful. But I bet that would do a lovely cup of tea. And now I've got my favourite vegan milk for tea. It's I'm drinking tea again. I've got a newfound love for tea. So, yeah, isn't that beautiful? Absolutely stunning. I'm so grateful for my presents. I love them. Right, let's try and hurry up now. So, moving on to Paul's family. I got... Oh, where's that one? Sorry. I got this from Paul's sister, Wendy, which I absolutely love because I gave Paul a list of things and then he passed them on to people. I didn't think I'd get this. Um, this is the Inner Queen No Ordinary Journal. Um, step into your power, unleash your magic, set yourself free. Now, I am all into manifestation and um, gratitude and everything like that. And this book is like a gratitude journal, but it's there's always, there's like a, a quote on every page. This one says, you don't always need a plan. Sometimes you just need to breathe, trust, let go and see what happens. Um, and then so daily queen habits. So movement, stillness and kindness. And then take three long deep breaths and smile. Then you put the date, the time, the time you woke up. How would you rate your mood this morning between one to ten? Choose three powerful affirmations to raise your vibration. Your inner queen always has a message for you. Which words of encouragement does she need to hear today? The world is a beautiful place. List three reasons to be grateful today. Choose three inspired actions to make today amazing. If something tries to trip you up today, how will your inner queen handle it? How will you celebrate yourself today? An evening reflection. How would you rate your mood this evening between one and ten? Today's big win. Today's big lesson. I think that's really going to help me. And for anyone that's struggling a bit with their mental health, um, I just always think that something like this, when you're having a down day, which let's be honest, is is a lot lately, um, I always find I do have a gratitude journal and I fill it in every single day and it's five things I'm grateful for that day. So when I'm having a really shitty day, I just go to my book and then just look at what I was grateful for over the week and you soon, it picks you up. It really, really does. And it's always simple things like me. It's like when Boo's a little bit more cuddly, when I see the foxes that I feed, if I've had a good day at work, if me and Paul have watched a film or just something like that, something that works made me smile or just something like that um but yeah i'm so happy i have this i'm so so happy i can't wait to start using that soon and then also from paul's sister i got um wendy got a resin making kit for her birthday in november and she made us all jewelry from it as christmas presents which i think is so sweet so i've got this necklace on but this is another one this is a crescent moon with little flowers in and then I also got this one. It's got like a lime green glitter in, but it's also a crescent moon. So I got that from Wendy, which I'm so thankful for. I love it, love it, love it. But yeah, I've got a spare one there. And then from Paul's um, older sister, Karen, I'll be right back. I got, I've already used one of these today. So on here, it says, when it's bath time, hang me under running water. So she handmade these and these are full of like oatmeal and rose petals and I used one today and they're so sweet. They smell incredible. So yeah, I have used one of those today with my nice bath and I added some more rose petals to my bath and one of these, which is also a present from Karen. So I have opened these, but this is the Dark Like My Heart set of 10 dark Dark bath bombs, the sweet smell of darkness. So I have used these, but these turn your bath water black and it just smells lovely. It does leave black like soap scum <laughs> around your bath, but it doesn't matter. You can get that off with a bit of flash. 
but yeah those are the bath bombs and they are absolutely incredible and it just says dissolve these beautiful bath bombs in warm water perfect for a mystical bath time and these are obviously vegan and cruelty free as is everything otherwise i wouldn't be showing it to you also got this book stranger things i'm a massive fan of stranger things i always find books are better than the series or better than the film so i'm glad that i've watched the series because i absolutely love the series but i'm really really interested to read the book so i'm so happy i have that and then also because karen works in accessorize and she got me the aquarius ring the sterling silver ring of the star constellation so i'm so happy about it. i'm gonna see if i can just break it off yes oh, i bent it sugar i bent it but that is going to go on my thumb it's just so delicate and pretty i'm going to keep that on my thumb i just love it so much i don't know if you can see it but it's the star constellation for aquarius but it's sterling silver and it's just so pretty that will be my new thumb ring so that is from Karen. From Paul's mum, Romy, or Rosemary, I got this beautiful Aquarius mug. And on the back, it says January the 20th to February the 18th, on February the 2nd. And it says original, independent, imaginative, and generous. Uh, that's what it says on the back. And that is what it says on the front. That's my star constellation again. I have my star constellation tattooed on me here because I am a big fan of my star sign. <laughs> so that's that. And then this adorable dog tea towel that says, I like dogs. <laughs> I like like dogs and again, love. And that is the little tea towel with some doggies on. I think there is one on here that reminds me of Boo. Where is it? It's the mixed breed one, the grumpy looking one. <laughs> Him. <laughs> It reminds me of Boo. <laughs> but yes, I got that, which I love. And then I got this, which I love. This is the secret, the magic. Um, Rhoda Byron is um, an amazing author and she obviously did The Secret, um, which I've read. And then my brother got me the other one. And then there's this one. So I'm really looking forward to reading this too. One word changes everything. This says, for more than 20 centuries, words within a sacred text have mystified, confused and been misunderstood by almost all who read them. Only a very few people through history have realised that the words are a riddle and that once you solve the riddle, once you uncover the mystery, a new world will appear before your eyes. So I love this. Again, it's all about manifestation and telling yourself that you have something that you want and you will eventually get it because you're letting it out into the universe and the universe will deliver. It's always listening. Your wish is its command. Remember that. And then I also got this from Romy, which is the manifestation journal. And again, a little bit like the inner queen one, but this is like every single day of the year. And it's... um it tells you to breathe meditate get in the flow write your affirmation three times so you keep telling yourself what you want three times write it down when it's out there the universe will listen call me crazy but i believe in this and i am going to do this in 2021 this is my goal that's my goal. Why do I keep bloody singing? I can't even sing. And then from Paul's niece, Amy, she made us some fudge, I think. Or was that Wendy? Oh, one of them made some fudge. Um, but I got this really cute Halloween best friend set. And it's one for me and one for you. Look, I didn't realise. So there's a little dog paw on here. And obviously I wear the bracelet. And then I put this little charm on Boo's collar. And it says, close your eyes and make a wish then tie this bracelet on your wrist when it falls off or wears through that is when your wish comes true um and that is just so beautiful and i didn't realize that it was for a dog so me and boo are gonna be matchy matchy and i love that so much and it's from etsy which is amazing um, and then amy also got me this sparkling prosecco scented glass candle which is an which smells beautiful crisp and fruity 21 hours of burn time so that is beautiful although it doesn't smell of prosecco it smells of cake 
That's just because I'm a greedy. And then for those of you that don't know, I have two stepchildren, which is Alex and Jess, and Heather, who is the children's mum, who still gets on really well with Paul and me. Um, got to meet these beautiful nails that I'm wearing. I love these so much. And um, I got this free from Christmas selection, which I know I love. My favourite is the um, caramel and the bunny comb. I love this. I'm so happy I've got more because I scoffed the ones I bought myself. But these, oh, I just love them so much. It's so thoughtful. And look, so this is the vegan range and lemon and clary sage hand duo. Um, just look, it's so cute. So there is a hand wash and a hand lotion, but it's in this beautiful basket, which I just think is so bloody cute. I love it. And then there is these bath salts, um, and there is eucalyptus leaves, lemongrass and rose petals, but it also comes in this beautiful little case that you can just reuse again. And it's just lovely. Look at these. Look, they've got all that, the little leaves and bits in them. And it says vegan on there, which I love. And I just think that's so cute. That's such a lovely piece to put in your bathroom. And you can just top these up again with other bath salts once they've gone. So I just think that is just a gift that keeps on giving. And I love it. I apologise if this video is long, but I like to sit down and watch people's videos of what they're unboxed for Christmas. Um, so my best friend Tara, who has been my best friend for... 30 nearly 32 years wow <laughs> so these are the presents from tara so i've got two sets of nails from primark which i love my favorite mascara wonder lash which i just bloody well love look at that shine it's my fave and then this cute wish bracelet from etsy again so it says again on here, just close your eyes and make a wish and tie this bracelet to your wrist. When your bracelet snaps into two, your wish you made will soon come true. And this is by My Darling Death from Etsy. But this one is a little bat and it is so bloody cute. Love it, love it, love it. And then also I got these, which is the Witch's Brew Soya Wax Vegan and Hand Poured. And this is from Galactic Frog Candle Shop. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And they smell delicious. I don't know. What, what are they? I don't know what scent they are. But they smell blood. Oh, Witch's Brew. <laughs> That's what Witch's Brew smells like. Yum. These little wax melts look, I don't know if you can see, but they've got little bits of glitter on his head. They're like that. They're mega cute. Mega cute. Why did I even say that? Who am I? <laughs> but yeah, they're so sweet, aren't they? I love them. Oh! Oh, has he got a bruise on his head? <laughs> I think he must have lavender in him. The others haven't got it. I've literally dropped him and he's got a bruise. <laughs> oh, stupid. And then I got this book. Now, I do own The Rules of Life, which I love. And then I want it, which I love. And this is The Rules of Love. And this is by Richard Templer. Um, I, I told Tara I wanted this and then bless her, she went and got it for me. So I'm really, really excited to read that. I love the colour, it's very Christmassy, is it not? Um, so yeah, I've got that, which I'm very, very excited about. And then I don't know where she found this. <laughs> All men are create, cremated equal. Now this is obviously for anyone that doesn't know, I am a funeral director. So I think this book is bloody incredible. Um, it's a colouring book. So it's like one of those stress relieving colouring books. <laughs> and this one says, seriously, you'd look better embalmed. <laughs> I put the fun in funeral. So you just colour these in. I used to have a life, but I decided to be a funeral director. And world's 
okayest funeral director i'm a funeral director what's your superpower instant funeral director just add coffee and i used to have a life but then i decided to be a funeral director so that's just some of the ones that they advertise on the front but I, on the back but i just think that is so cool i never even knew this kind of book existed i remember um tara's mum Anne, who um sadly isn't with us anymore but um tara when Anne was in hospital um tara bought her one of these but like the swear words and she laughed so much now Anne wasn't a swearer she wasn't a swearer and the words that was in this book were shocking not to me and tara because we used to say these words all the time sorry but Anne didn't swear like that and she had to colour in these words and it was so funny but she loved it and the people that were the lady that was opposite her in the bed was like was like me and Tara so she thought it was hilarious but anyway yeah so now I have one which I think is great so besides Tara I have three other best friends and um, let me tell you they are the witchiest ghoulish three women you will ever come across um they are like we have been magnetised towards each other, all three of us, all four of us, um, because we are that well inclined. Um, and we all buy each other Christmas presents um, and I am blown away by their Christmas presents this year. They're absolutely beautiful. So let me start with Majera, AKA Sarah. And she got me this vegan witch t-shirt. Now I absolutely love this. I really, really love this t-shirt, it's beautiful. It's stunning, don't you know? And speaking of stunning, sorry. She also got me this and I'm quite blown away by it. It's another bookmark, but just look at it. It's got crystals in. I think this is clear quartz, I think. But it's got a freaking star in it and then this, it just, it's just bloody, it's like a wand. I love it. It is so blinking beautiful. I just love that so much. I feel like a little witchy shepherd. <laughs> I don't know why I say that. But that's from, uh, is it Joe V V? <laughs> I'm useless. I need to get Google um, the pronunciation app. I'm going to start doing that, I think, just so I can give things justice. But yeah, that is stunning. So that was from Sarah. And Sarah also, who is a fur auntie to Boo Boo, she got him the best balls. She always buys him the best balls. <laughs> Boo Boo loves tennis balls or anything like that. She always finds the perfect size balls for him. <laughs> I want to keep saying balls. Last year, she got him these little blue ones and he loved them. This year, she got him rainbow ones from like a gym type thing. And oh my God, he loves them. He's obsessed. So she did spoil Boo Rot and she got him a little fox teddy. So yeah. Well, I'm so thankful for Sarah, Majera, as I call her, or Minge, as she's uh, otherwise Next known. Next to my lovely little Kelly Belly. Kelly, I've known for quite a few years now. We have matching tattoos and we met because she was my Slimming World consultant. Um, and um, I managed to lose all my weight with her. And now we've managed to put it all back on together. So, um, yeah, we <laughs> stayed friends. Kelly then worked for us for a while. Um, and, uh, yeah, we've just been close ever since. And honestly when i opened this i could not believe it she's bought me a freaking bat box so the bats will live up here or sleep up here upside down and um, i can paint this myself but just I, I can't believe she got me it i've wanted one of these for ages and yeah they sleep up there so i just need to look into it if i need to put anything in it uh, i'm going to paint it for the side of my house um, but yeah, she got me this. I'm so happy. So happy. I love that so much. So that is from Kelly Belly, um, who also got me this Victoria's Secrets love addict, addict. And she was very sly because she was walking around B&M. And she said to me, oh, what one was it that you liked? Because um, I need to get a secret Santa from work. And uh, I just wanted to know what one was the nicest. And then I got it. So that's that. <laughs> also, I got the Villains Wax Melts. And this is uh, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Halloween Town. 
I got the Nightmare Before Christmas Jack's Obsession and I also got Just One Bite with Sleeping Beauty's Wicked Witch. Now these smell delicious. I can smell them through this. Oh my God, that smells like apple, cinnamon apple. This one, it doesn't actually say what they smell of, but. Oh, they're just, they're just all bloody delicious. Oh no, hang on. I don't think it says what they smell of, but they smell bloody lovely. That's apple. So yeah, I got these little wax melts, but they're like the Disney villains. And they are incredible. And then last but not least from Kelly, which is my favourite. Mm, look at this print. Oh, the ring light's in the way. Look how cute he is. Oh my God, I love him so much. He's definitely going on my wall and he's probably going to go up here. I'll show you later. But I love him so much he cannot not go up on my wall. I mean, do I put him up like that? No, because he's so freaking cute. I want to see him like that. Look at his little teeth. Oh my God, I love him. I've called him Herman. And then my lovely witchy poo, Helen, who I absolutely adore. Helen makes stuff from wood. She makes her own cards. She makes a lot of stuff and we need to encourage her to open her own Etsy shop because I think she would do magnificently. She is so clever and talented. And she made me this and I just love it so much. Look at this bauble. Oh my God. God, I think, so obviously I can see there's bay leaves in here and cinnamon and rose petals. There's a beautiful silver leaf in there and looks like some bath salts, lavender, but orange. She's going to tell me what this all means later, but that is just stunning. I love it. I bloody love it. Obviously there's the pentagram, pentacle on here. Um... Helen's a white witch. <laughs> she is absolutely amazing. So that was one of my Christmas presents, which I absolutely love. This made me cry. So Helen made me some decorations for my tree. And this is to represent my nan, which is a glitter feather. Um, this actually made me cry when I opened it and then read her message. So that is for my nan that we lost four years ago. And this is for our little boy that we lost six years ago, Elliot. Um, so that's a little mini feather for him. And then for my nan. So I ha I've had both of these on my tree and he just made me cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry now, but that's for Elliot and that's for my nan, Peggy. <laughs> it's so beautiful. And then this, which is super sweet, which I think my sister's going to be jealous of. My sister absolutely adores dandelions. But this is like a dandelion wish. Can you see it in there? This is from Helen's garden. So there's the little dandelion seed in there and then she sealed it with wax and put it in a little glass bottle. Can you see? There's the dandelion wish in there. How freaking cute is that? How personal is that? These are, oh, just, I just can't. That's beautiful. And then lastly, um, from vintage, vintage charm makers of fine british sterling silver charms she got me this beautiful little coffin necklace which i can now open because i've been saving everything to open like for this video and i haven't put anything away and now i can and helen says this opens if i can open it with these blinking nails on i don't know if i'm going to be able to peeps peeps I don't think I can open it with these nails on. But anyway, it's this cute little coffin. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love it. I love it. I'm going to wear that all the time. It's silver on one side. And that on the other. It's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love my friends. <laughs> Some things I got from people that I work with. I got this skull totem pole thing, which I absolutely love. It's like um, succulents. <laughs> Forgot the word then. Look how beautiful that is. So I got that. One I'm really excited to use is this, which is the Villains Cauldron Bath Bomb. I love the look of this. 
and this is apple fragranced and i'm sure this is vegan i will check it out obviously before i use it but look it's a little icky cauldron with some green bath bomb in it oh my god i just oh i can't wait to use it i did get some other bits and pieces from people at work but i've i've eaten them i got the most amazing chocolate which was um cookie flake cookie dough flavored chocolate oh my god I, i'm sorry I, I even ate it before christmas because i couldn't help myself and some other bits and some little love heart vegan hearts beautiful i couldn't contain myself i'm sorry so i haven't got those to show you uh, but uh, one of the chaps that i work with his wife has released a book on amazon called julia's journey i know her as joy day um, but this is Julia's Journey and um, the Early Years by Joy Day. And I have it signed. <sighs> so I'm really looking forward to reading that. And because I know the person, it's going to be amazing to learn a bit more about her that I didn't know. And then for my secret Santa at work. Oh my gosh. I got this candle. <laughs> of boo and it says i'll have a boo boo christmas i'll have a blue blue christmas without you i think that's where they were going with this <laughs> and there's a little boo bean on a candle which i think is bloody amazing and then i got this which says packaging without plastic and then you pull this out and guess what's on it my boobie and it says the same as the candle i'll have a boo boo christmas uh, and then it's like a little notepad it's so cute and it's got my little bubba on it oh my god i'm so bloody grateful for my presents got these which i haven't had yet and this is the vegan hot chocolate bombs with marshmallows which i've never found for vegans so I got those, which I'm really excited. I was going to have one of these Christmas Eve and then I forgot. So I'm going to have one in a minute. I've had breath because I ran downstairs to get these. But yeah, I got those, which is amazing. So it says, put the hot chocolate bomb in a mug. Slowly pour 255 millilitres of hot milk over the bomb. Watch as the bomb melts and the mini marshmallows escape. Stir well until all the chocolate is melted and enjoy your delicious hot chocolate. Wow! I can't, I'm going to have one of them in a minute. And then lastly, I'm so sorry if this video is long. Um, I work with an incredible lady called Yvonne and she gave me a lovely little basket of goodies. And I have got this beautiful candle. I got this lovely little plaque that says you can't have a rainbow without a little rain. So it's like a little hamper of things, which is lovely. And the four is it agreements, wisdom from the four agreements, little book, which is super cute. This mug that says all you need is love and a dog, which is so lovely. I got this face mask, which is super cute she knows me black and then i have got snacks these and she didn't even know these are my bloody favorite and you can only get them at halloween and these are the fizzy fizzy wizzy wings from marks and spencers i love these and yvonne didn't even know that and she also didn't know that i bloody love the aldi um, pickled onion flavored veggie chip puffs i love them so i've got those I got some veggie straws and I got some roast beef flavoured veggie puffs. <laughs> I got some veggie marshmallows, which I'm going to make a vegan schmores with, which I'm very excited about. And, which I've never had before, these Frutella Sour Hippos Gelatin Free. So I've got all these lovely yummy snacks and that was a big surprise this hamper. I work with Yvonne regularly and I didn't realise she's going to get me such a lovely little gift. And she also bought Boo some a lovely little present as well, which he loves. Pig's ears. I wasn't... But yeah, Boo loves them. Um, so yeah. That, you will be pleased to hear, is the end of my Christmas presents for 2020. As I say, I'm not boasting in the slightest. I'm just so grateful for all the presents I've got. I'm actually overwhelmed 
with what I got this year. Everything was really personal and, and just lovely. I really loved it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and think about hitting that subscribe button. And I love you all so, so much. I will be back with my next video, which will be my 2021 goals. And um, yeah, let's make 2021 a year to remember. Love you all so, so much. Thank you very much for all your support this year. And I will see you later. Love you. Bye.